Prosper study is a study that is investigating enzalutamide, one of the AR pathway inhibitor in patients who have not yet developed metastasis. We knew already that treating early when they have metastases uh, actually can bring some benefit, maybe not by increasing overall survival much more, but by changing the state of the disease, meaning keeping the patient in a good health status for a long period of time. So the idea behind the non-metastatic trial, Prosper, Spartan, Aramis, was to see if we start that before they have metastasis in a population of patients we know will develop metastasis because they have a rabbit rising PSA, could we actually delay the metastasis and make the disease so chronic that ultimately they, they would die from something else before they have progress in the disease. So many people look at like, does it increase overall survival even more? I would say it doesn't deteriorate it. And I would say that's not the primary end point. The primary end point is really that uh, you have these patients, they're progressing, and you want to maintain them as long as possible in a good health status, meaning low burden of treatment, and he was thinking about one single drug, uh, low burden of pain and good quality of life. And this is really what the trials show, that if you start the drug very early, you will actually delay the progression in disease to a much later end point. No, we have to admit, it comes with a price, which is a little bit more toxicity, especially fatigue, but that's a drug the patient can stop. So I would say that's a patient decision and maybe some financial toxicity to be discussed. And I think no, what we should say about the M0, if it gets approved and reimbursed, is discuss with the patient and say, you can either choose to start the drug now and delay chemotherapy and everything else much later, or you can wait like we did before.